Hi, it's uh, Sunday, March 20th, 2016. Uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the precious uh, metals market uh, today. And uh, the theme of my, my talk is uh, climbing a wall of worry. And that's a term in the markets usually to you know, describe uh, a bull market, you know, there's always, you know, people worried that the market is going to come down and correct uh, sharply. And we've seen that in the last, uh, I would say, you know, almost a month now since gold uh, made a high um, on the 11th of February uh, at uh, around, uh, let's see, uh, 12, yeah, 1263, we made that high on the 11th of February. And since then, we've basically gone sideways. Uh, we've seen uh, that the uh, market had formed like a, a bull flag or pennant. We broke out of that. Uh, we made a new high up to around 1284 uh, last week or late uh, the week before. Uh, and, and and last week we came back down towards 1225 and we, we, we closed the week at 1255, uh, around 1255.40 in the spot market. On COMEX, uh, gold, uh, the front contract, uh, which is April, settled at 1254. Uh, the front month in silver, which is May, settled at 1581 which is also, in my opinion, uh, a good close. It, it's, uh, you know, it, it's, uh, it, it is knocking on uh, big time resistance, you know, at 1580, uh, the silver market. Uh, we did trade above 16 uh, on Friday prior to the U US uh, markets opening. And then as usual, uh, you know, it came back down. But it looks like uh, it wants to break out. Silver hasn't, uh, it corrected quite a bit towards the end of February, uh, a lot more than gold. So it's come back quite well. And uh, it outperformed gold the last few days of last week. Uh, and uh, I'm surprised that gold didn't perform better uh, late last week. But uh, maybe there's some you know, correction in that gold-silver ratio. Um, but we've seen a lot of articles in the last, uh, you know, month, uh, people who cover go gold, you know, warning of big, uh, you know, crash or correction in gold. And we haven't got gotten it. And that's why I kind of call it climbing a wall of worry. And there's a, an interesting uh, article, which I'll put the link to below, uh, called Pre the article's... Uh, title is Precious Metals Ignore Correction Calls by Jordan Roy Byrne uh, and it's from the dailygold.com and um, yeah, basically it's saying how you know gold has refused to really correct that much you know we had a correction uh, sharp correction uh, back in the uh, end of February when we uh, went down below 1200 uh, let's see what that well mid middle of February we went down to uh, 1191 I think and but since then we haven't gone back below 1200 so um, it looks like you know uh, it's pretty stubborn the gold and, and silver market at the moment and uh, Mr. Roy Byrne uh, and I quote he says many have expected a correction due to the commit commit of traders report or the COT which shows a net speculative position of 37.6 percent of open interest that's the futures market of course while this figure appears high we should note that from 2001 through to 2012 the net speculative position open uh, peaked from 50 percent to 60 percent and he says, moreover, everyone has completely missed the rise in open interest, which reached a more than four year high. Open interest is not a leading indicator, but a confirming indicator. Strong in increases in open interest validate the strong increases in gold. 
uh, the recent increase in open interest mirrors the increase that followed the 2001 and 2008 lows in gold. So that's quite interesting. Um, and uh, I think, yeah, he goes on to talk about, you know, the... Uh, the metals, uh, the mining, sorry, the mining shares as well, how they've, you know, corrected a little bit, but are still performing quite well. Uh, so, you know, I, I follow some uh, mining shares um, and I've got some mining shares and they're actually near the, the highs really of this year. So they, they have corrected a little bit, but they're still very strong relative to what gold and silver have done. So, um, yeah, there's uh, a lot of people who, um, you know, expecting a, a big correction who have said that this is not like a, this bull, bull flag or pennant is not really going to, it's a top. But it seems to me that uh, it's taking a long time, uh, you know, and the, the longer it takes, you know, for this correction to come, it might not come. And the other uh, technical, uh, you know, study uh, that I've looked at is from a guy uh, called uh, Nickel. Um, I think his first name is Bob. I'm not sure, but he has a website called FractalMarket.com uh, uh, or FractalGold.com. If you Google Fractal Report, or Market Report, or Fractal Gold Report, he looks into fractals, which are patterns uh you know not sign they're they're like unusual patterns and uh fractions of patterns and he he measures uh fractal dimensions it's quite interesting and he uses that for market analysis i'll put the link below and according to him um and he's not always right this guy but he says the gold market has a lot of fractal energy right now and that you know, we could be ready uh, to finally, you know, make the move towards 1400. Uh, so we'll have to see. I'll put the link below to the Fractal Market Report uh, website. Uh, it does cost a bit of money to, to get those reports, but it's just interesting that, you know, uh, we haven't had, uh, you know, a huge correction in gold, really. And uh, silver ended the week fairly firm. It would have been better if we closed above 16, but we just closed above 1580, which was quite uh, encouraging. So um, we'll have to see next week, of course, we've got a good Friday. Um, and then uh, in Europe, the week after Monday will be shut. So the markets are going to slow down a little bit. But um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if uh, gold and silver are able to, uh, you know, move higher and, uh, you know, break this uh, sideways action, basically, we've had for over a month now, if you think about it. And, uh, yeah, so uh, have a good uh, end of the week. Uh, if you like this video, please uh, like, you know, press the like button. And uh, also share it with friends or subscribe to, uh, to my channel. Uh, have a good day. Take care. Bye.